Hi everybody and welcome to the following of the uh, dex2.sol and we're gonna continue with the rest of the functions so the uh, function here we're gonna write is withdraw so withdraw and here we go so okay you it will get the uint 256 amount and uh, it's a public function so let's open the brackets. So we'll require that the amount be greater than zero. Be greater than zero. And otherwise, it will tell a user that invalid withdrawal amount. Invalid withdrawal amount. OK. And Next, we'll need another requirement. Require that the amount be less or equal than the balances of the message senders. Uh, so the message sender balance should be greater than the amount. So amount here, amount smaller than the balances of msg.sender otherwise will show to the user insufficient balance insufficient balance here we go and so balances of the message sender minus equal amount so we'll reduce the balance of the message sender msg.sender minus equal the uh, amount and payable msg.sender that transfer the amount so don't forget the semicolon so payable msg.sender msg.sender minus equal the amount and uh, we'll emit the withdrawal event emit withdrawal event it will get the msg.sender and the amount and there we go this is the withdrawal function and now it's time for the trade function here function trade it will get the uh, address of the uh, address token address so address of the token token address and also you into 56 amount you into 56 amount and you into 256 price you into 256 price so that's it public payable public payable so here we'll enter uh, the function and it will require that the token address not be the address zero so require that the token address not equal to the address zero address zero and so invalid token address otherwise it will be the uh, invalid token address so here is where you enter the erc20 token address and uh, we checked not to be an invalid address so the amount should be greater than zero and otherwise invalid amount invalid amount and also requires that the balance of the message sender be greater than, than equal to the, the amount require the um, balances 
of the msg.sender be greater than, greater than or equal to amount otherwise insufficient funds here we go and now it's time for performing the trade logic here so um, you can uh, write in this part you can write the uh, trade logic but right now because we don't uh, this is for testing and uh, this is for educational purposes and this is not an actual swap so um, we can enter the token address and trade but uh, the actual thing behind the scenes has not uh, is not happening here so we do not write that logic we only emit the trade event so we will get the msg.sender the token address amount and price token address amount and the price and here it is so that's it for the contract let's save this and we will uh, also compile this so now let's see what the problem is uh, here we've got the event rate but uh, expected comma but got number so here we have a uh, oh this is a problem and another problem somewhere around here so I guess it's about indentation okay now save this there's also another problem here so you into 56 here save this okay another problem function trade address token address you into 56 amount price so what is the problem here okay the problem uh, is that we haven't closed the function and this is a function within a function so we should fix this control x and now press tab so that should be it and solved and let's check what's the problem here so expression has to be uh, an L value so payable msg.sender okay this is Oh, no, it's not that way, so actually this is dot transfer amount, so dot transfer amount. So let's save this and now it's been successfully compiled. Now uh, let's save it again to make sure. Now we can compile our uh, actually we can uh, deploy our smart contract so let's deploy this and now let's fund the contract with uh, we can choose Fini and Fini uh, each 1000 Fini is one ether so I can here choose a hundred Fini for uh, 0.1 ether so let's copy the address paste it here transact and our balance is 0.1 ether here and now uh, here we can determine the amount we want to enter as uh, the deposit value there we go and here we can trade so we can uh, find the token address from somewhere like ether scan and uh, paste it over here we can determine the amount and the price notice that the prices of each token is predetermined but here uh, for just a uh, simple test and educational purposes we are going to determine the price so um, most of the time when you're in a swap you can also determine the price by yourself but nobody is gonna buy it in that price if the price is not in the correct price 
but uh, then and because of that you will need to be waiting for that price to happen in the market or somebody is found uh, to be uh, trading that with you so actually uh, you you cannot set the price by yourself but you do it uh, in the real world and here we do the same but uh, notice that most of the time in order to buy or sell something in the market price then uh, you'll need to uh, have the market price from somewhere uh, most of the time you'll uh, get these prices from oracles uh, like Chainlink or other oracles but uh, here we can just set any price that we like so now I've copied the address of the Chainlink token from the Ether scan. If you want to know how I found it, I head headed over to the uh, Ether scan website, and here I copied the token contract address. So I copied the address and pasted it over here. So right now we can choose the amount. So the amount is, for example, ten, and the price is also ten. So let's click on the transact and as you can see it's been successful. We can uh, also check the uh, owner and then copy the address of the owner uh, in the address and check the balance. As you can see this is the balance and notice that here because of uh, in our function we deposited the amount in the receive and fallback. So not only did we fund the contract we also added it to the deposit so uh, because of that not only is this uh, two and a lot of zeros has been added we also have added 0 0.1 ether to the deposit value so you can uh, you feel free to um, just comment these out if you want because we have the deposit here already and we do not need that and uh, so that's it for the testing of the contract you can also withdraw the uh, amounts that you have here so for example i can choose one ten thousand and there it is we have withdrawn the money you can check the balance again and as you can see it has been decreased so generally that's it for this part of the tutorial we've managed to create uh, the smart contract of the decentralized exchange and you know the whole philosophy of an exchange is that you have some money in a wallet and you transfer it to the exchange and that's what we did we had the wallet and then we transferred deposited the money in the exchange we uh, traded with some other token we got the token but here we cannot see the token because the actual swap is not taking place here we're just uh, somehow simulating that kind of exchange here in on remix ide but you can uh, create the actual uh, kind of uh, uh, a uh, minimalistic exchange with using a, a wallet like MetaMask. So you can enter and um, somehow connect with the mainnet of Ethereum. So we will do that in the future tutorials once we finish the uh, smart contracts under Mix ID and. Uh, we want to interact the smart contracts using the test nets and the main nets. So that's it for this part of our tutorial. Until the next one, goodbye.